So, At Games has released the latest firmware for the Legends Ultimate Arcade with version 5.70. And as with most new software releases, there's definitely some issues with it. And At Games has actually officially responded to this initially. But before we get into that, let's go ahead and take a look at what I'm doing on my Legends Ultimate Arcade machine. So let's start off with the firmware version that I'm running on my cabinet. So I go here to settings and then go here to the version. I'm currently running version 5.68.0. And at least for me, I normally do not update my firmware unless it's something that I really want to update to. And also I normally wait until the bug fixes have been ironed out before I make the update. And for me, if my cabinet's already working the way it wants, well, I don't necessarily have to update. So that's kind of like my overall thoughts on updating your firmware. And in terms of what I'm running on my machine, of course, I do have CoinOps X, which is what I started off with. But then later, I added one sauce under the BYOG. So at least for me, this gives me all the retro gaming that I need, and I'm really happy about it. And that's the main reason why I think a lot of people buy the Legends Ultimate Arcade Machine, because for the price, you are getting a really great cabinet. And even without the additional games, it has 300 games. So for me, uh, for the price, you are getting a lot already. And with the feature to add BYOG, CoinOps X, you know, adding other games, this is what makes it the best multi-cade out there, especially at its price. So let's go ahead and take a look at this firmware. So if you actually go to at game Sykes under their release, uh, you will see 5.70 and the current release notes. And if you click on known issues, uh, they'll list some of the current main issues that they are experiencing. So if you wanted to see this notes and release issues, I will leave links in the description area below. And then on my previous video where I talked about this, I have already gotten some comments about people having this break their BYOG and CoinOps X and so forth. And if you go to another channel, Michael B. The Game Genie, I really do enjoy his channel. He made a video talking about this. And there are quite a few comments on here talking about it. But the one that's most important is the actual response from at games. So this is what I'm talking about where at games has officially responded to this initially. So what they're saying is, you know, uh, we wanted to reach out and provide an update on the question we received from some owners in the community. As you all know, we now release firmware on an as needed basis. Our firmware updates fix known issues, provide stability improvements and add new features to the legends platform. When new firmware updates are applied to the system, it means that other non at games, third party applications and software may or may not be affected. The BYOG feature on Legends HD devices continue to work and has been unchanged. Have a nice weekend. So that was the official response from at games. And if you did want to see this original video from uh, Michael B, the Game Genie's channel, I will leave a link to his video below. But what does this say about the known issues and what's happening to people who own an Ad Games Legends Arcade? Well, the reality is whenever you release new software, there's going to be a lot of unknown issues, especially when it comes to software that you didn't build. So this is something that's normal in the whole development world. Um, I used to be in software development as well. And as with anyone who's updated the software, whether it's on their phone, their computers, their game systems, there are definitely going to be some issues when they release this because it can't possibly account for every possible situation and configuration. But that does lead to another question, you know, about this. Is this something that's actually intentional? And I think some people might think that it is intentional, that they want to prevent people from using other systems outside of at games software that they provide. Well, I feel at least at this point, I don't think that's the reason. As I mentioned a little bit earlier, software is complex. Things can happen. And I think everybody knows the main reason why they buy this system, even though I think it is a really great cabinet on its own, especially for the price, is a simple fact that you can add your own games. This makes it the best multi-cade out there at this price range. There's nothing even close to it. And so that's the main reason why so many people buy this. And if they were to release software that permanently disabled this feature, then, well, I think a lot of people would not buy this machine and they'd probably opt to create their own. You know, if you want 
the most flexibility, then you would probably build your own cabinet. But I think for a lot of people, including myself, that's not something that we want to do. And at the same time, you know, to get this overall quality, you know, for the price, it's really hard to match, you know. And that's kind of like my overall thoughts on this, you know, ad games. They are trying to make improvements to their overall ecosystem, and that typically will involve software updates. And with that, there's normally going to be issues. Uh, with all of that being said, I do hope that At Games quickly provides a fix to this, because if this is something that is permanent, meaning that in the future your BYOG games won't work. And for people who buy this thinking it does work, well, they're going to return it. And so I'm pretty sure Ad Games is well aware of this. And um, I'm being optimistic that they will fix this and hopefully sooner than later. And for anybody else who has experienced this issue right now, I hope that in future updates, this does fix it because I, just like you, really love retro gaming. And if this was truly broken and doesn't get fixed, then this is going to really, really suck for all the gamers out there, especially for people who've already invested the money in an ad game system. So if you did have any other additional thoughts on this, be sure to leave in the comments there below. And if you did want to see more of my retro game reviews, I do have an entire playlist for that. I'll leave in the description area below. And if you did want to see my original review of the Ad Games Legends Ultimate Arcade Cabinet, I'll leave that in the description area below. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you on another episode. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy, the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below.